Next up, Jessie is in Glen Waverley to take a tour of a French provincial inspired home. Derwin, I love French provincial homes, particularly the way that they present to the street. But this one looks a little bit different to the others that I've seen. So when we were designing it, you know, we wanted something that was a bit different to every other French provincial, from the colour scheme to the way we shaped the roof and the crown. It's a bit more contemporary, a bit more modern, without losing that classic style. No, because a lot of them you see them, they're just like plain white. And, and you yeah. know that that like, you know, over time might age well, but I think you've really got the, the colour choice right here. Grey really stands out amongst all the other houses on the street and adds a bit more depth to otherwise a pretty standard look. I haven't seen too many Versace mosaic features though mm -hmm. in the French Provincial. Is that something signature to you guys? Yeah, definitely. Especially in our French Provincial line. It's a little flair that we like to add. It makes the house a little more distinct and for each client they can, you know, make it a bit personal to them as well. So notice on the front door, you've got the beautiful wrought iron double doors, grand entrance, and then you step into this beautiful space here. It's so large. What we wanted to do is just create a space that once you enter, you really feel the space in the home and the grandness. And you know, we achieved that with like the freestanding staircase and the like really large feature windows that help bring more light in. And you know, they offer more practical space, whereas if it wasn't freestanding, you'd kind of lose that. Geez, walking up that staircase, this landing area and whole room, it's almost as impressive as the entrance. There is so many things going on up here. Of course, we have this spacious retreat up here. It's perfect for, you know, family to unwind away from like the rest of the house. And we have all the like the lovely large bedrooms, especially the master where you get so much space to just do your own thing. We've got living downstairs, rumpus room here, and then you've also got a living room in the master bedroom. Yeah. The proportions are so large. Yeah, we just wanted the spaces to feel like you're not restricted. And once again, we have like the large windows everywhere that just make everything feel really open. And I like the timber grain as well. Obviously, you've gone with the staircase being the timber grain, the chevron flooring, and you see the timber grain with a lot of the joinery in the house. It feels very cohesive. So once again, adds to the warmth of the home. Rather than have everything be either white or black or just a flat color, it adds a bit of dimension to everything. The tapware that you feature throughout the home, what is it antique brass, normal brass, brush brass? It's so yeah, lovely. It's, it's antique brass tapware with sort of rainwater tap. Yeah. Is that what you call it? Rainwater spout, is it? Yeah, it's a rainwater spout and something a bit different and kind of elevates the space a bit more. You're not going to see that in every house. Lighting is often overlooked when designing and building a new home, yet it plays such a critical role into how the property feels. And what Pearl Homes have done so well here is the use of indirect lighting in the coffered ceilings. It gives you the ability to turn off all the downlights and chandeliers, but still means the room's going to be well lit. It creates a lovely feeling and a great ambience. Derwin, you've done really well in this space because I love how instead of your, what you're seeing in most contemporary homes, kitchen, dining, living, they're all stacked together. The separation of the three rooms, it makes it feel really homely. Yeah, we want a space that you could also like entertain in and could feel really connected throughout. So even with the kitchen, you have the see-through splashback that never really takes you away from the rest of the home as well. And it provides a great space for like family and friends. Beautiful marble fireplace there. I take it that would have been pretty difficult to find someone to install. Did that come from overseas? Yeah, we had to get it imported and custom made in Turkey and you'd think that would be the hard bit, but actually getting it in was fine. Putting it in the house and installing it was the hard part. <laughs> and I, I do like how you've actually gone with a more traditional style cabinetry as well in the kitchen rather than like your shaker which you see so often now. Yeah, once again, we were thinking, you know, we're going for a French provincial look. Why not still keep that classic look without going too old school? And we think these really strike that perfect balance. 
Well, I love like even where we're standing now, you've got your entrance foyer, the foyer where the stair is, Upstairs, you've got another foyer where you walk up the landing and then here, everything has an entrance as you walk into the room. As much as we wanted to build a home that's grand, we also wanted to build a home that's practical for entertaining and for family as well. And having those separate spaces that are quite large as well helps achieve that. Derwin, it's so nice to see that Pearl Construction Group have broken the mould when building this French provincial home. They've gone with the light oak floors, the grey facade, the natural timber and oaks throughout. It's just quite refreshing and I think that's going to be really well received in the market. I think so too. It's something a bit different and that's what our company's kind of about. It's We want to stick to like what's classic and what's good but add our own twist to it and give clients something they haven't really seen before. Well, I look forward to seeing the next one. Thanks so much.